Titty banger. Hello! It has been a very long time. You got on a hoodie, son. Word. Oh, what you got on a hoodie? Twist up on it.
getting the vaccine doesn't stop you from being COVID. You can still get it and spread due to the fact that we're battling the Delta variant now. Mm -hmm. That's the variant prevalent today. Which also produces more um, false positives, false, right. like, false positives. Mm -hmm. So, but the vaccine that's out there is from the original variant. So it's not applicable. It's barely yeah, it's barely applicable, but yet that's still mandated. So if you can still give it to me and can still get it in the passive, you're mandating me for what? I think it's really a hope so I think that Bill Gates is behind it and every time we get a shot, he gets ten million dollars. It feels like somebody's making it. Like, I... Because like for example, even I write Say it's my ignorance and I'm choosing to risk my life. Mm -hmm. Why is that your concern? Because you impact other people. That's why. So you should be in a bubble. You should be mandated to like wear a mask that can't come off like this. If you're in a place where the vaccine stops you from getting it, wholeheartedly, that's your argument wrong. But if you can still transmit and get it, what is the point? So I, I, I think that America messed up when they lifted the ban, when they lifted the movement, when they became more relaxed with it, right? I think it's pretty embarrassing that third world countries are making us look rather underdeveloped. The numbers right? in Africa are uh, 10 times better than us. Um, Jamaica, you have an app, you're getting jailed, you're being fined. Um, I was just in the elevator with someone in my mom's building and they didn't have a mask on. And I was like, Every time I see someone unmasked, vaccine or not, I'm just like, do you know something I know? Because I want to wear my lipstick. Like, what do you know that I don't know? Because, tell me. Clearly, like, you know, again, I've been reading a book, well, I've been reading a book, the one that's part of it tonight, actually. It's called, I saw the Bill Gates bestseller. It's called, how to manipulate the numbers. It's just something into how they can use statistics to create fear. For example, they'll say one in five hundred people gonna die from COVID. One in five hundred people die from COVID. They, they're gonna go right that line. But when you analyze the data, analyze the data, that's like one percent of the population. Which is not a lot. So you really want everybody to get vaccine for one percent of the population, respectfully? So going back to your opening conversation, which was uh, the mandate. Right? So I looked at some data for the DOE. Um, they have the Bronx. Cheers to the Bronx. Shout out to everyone from there who ever survived. It's, it's really there. Um, they said that they tested 12,000 people, right? Guess how many people they said had COVID? Okay. 42. You got to know. That's a lot. So it's skewed data. It's 42 50. people? Out of 12,000. 12, right. Yeah, that's causing a mandate. It's causing a mandate, it's causing people to potentially lose their jobs at 5 o'clock on Friday. Let's be honest. I'm a, I watch college sports. Every Saturday, I challenge anybody watching this live to watch a college football game from the SEC or the ACC or the Big Ten. These are conferences in college. I challenge you to watch any football game and tell me, listen for the number of attendees. Every stadium is packed to the capacity. Are they testing in? Who knows they're testing? No mask in sight. There's no mask protocol. They have to be. You don't think so? No. These Michigan Stadium were over 100,000 people. They packed. Every game as far as you had it. Packed. Capacity. Not a mask in sight. Maybe they're, clear. Maybe they're clear. Not a mask. But that's like the down south Atlanta wait, right? Florida. Atlanta's been partying since COVID started. Atlanta never closed. Florida's new surgeon general said he's not giving a mask mandate. You don't have to wear a mask, let alone vaccine. The governor of Texas said that he got COVID and then he changed his mind. My thing is, you can't, like, the person, if you deem that it's death, by not taking the vaccine, let me take that risk. They get a mask police two years. $50 if you get caught without a mask. 
My thing is. So it's like running the like the, um, the speed thing that I get all the time. So that's bringing PTSD for me. So I'm about to apply to stay home because between the tickets and the masks, I don't know if I can. Let's discuss the other way to be COVID. The other way, like the fact that they sell the vaccine as the only way to be COVID lets you know that there's money behind it. There's other Absolutely. ways. There's other ways to be COVID. Which are? I have family members that got COVID who are anti-vax and they went into the hydrochloroquine like Donald Trump was saying. Everybody's fine. No hospitalization, nothing. In it's real like, life. In real life. They're black. Wholeheartedly. They took it? Here's the thing. I'm going to tell you an honest thing. Please. When COVID started, I was in Africa, in Ghana, for my grandmother's funeral. So me and all my siblings are in Ghana. We hear in COVID is going crazy. This is the new thing. COVID, COVID, COVID. So we stress it. We got to get back. We can't get stuck. We got to get back. Bob, we have a family member in Africa who's one of the head doctors in the country. He's like, hydrochloroquine, what you take for malaria, a yellow fever, also is good for COVID. We heard it before we came back to America. I swear on my father. So when Trump came back and said it works, we was like, oh shit, we heard that shit in Africa. Why are the numbers go in Africa than they are in the industrial life? I know, that's the part that's really wicked. I don't, it doesn't make sense. It really doesn't. And um, I really don't want to give into the theory that they're manipulating us mentally for money, but I think that there's some legs to it. Yeah. There has to be some legs to it. There has to be some nice to it. Um, you know, but again, we as the people are in control. We're not in control, so we also have to, you know. It's sad. Get down there. But, yeah. that's. Uh, I hope it works out for everyone who's on the line eventually. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, they give out $100, so now. I ain't get $100, and. People try to try. They weren't giving money. Yeah. So I have a question that you guys, based on the topic that you guys were talking about, right? Oh, I got to get in here, right? Oh, cool. Um, so the question really is... You got to guess, I man, Joe. So I got the first podcast, by the way. Um, yeah, you said, why is that? What was the exact question that you were mentioning about the whole, um, the medicine that he took that Trump said it works. How'd you call for it? So, that really works. So if it really worked, the question is, what's the goal? Because remember, there was, there's a video certain on out here about when Bill Gates was talking about the population. Population control, man. And he talked about a whole disease coming around and it was supposed to be affecting. But the problem with us or the lack of education of us. We choose not to pay attention to things like that because we're doing this again, right? So, what's the reasoning behind this? Is it population control or do you think it's just propaganda? I think it's both. Yeah. Oh. I think it's both. Um, I think that in America, um, in the words of my man, money back, yo, I got time, <laughs> back, right? Um, so, if you got money, you got time. And I got time to manipulate this society. And well, if you don't have financial freedom that you can correctly be on, um, you are pegged into those things. So for about 86% of this country, people are now mandated to get vaccines based on their socioeconomic status, right? The rich only represent 2% of the world. The poor represent, right? middle class is a sliver that's diminishing daily as we speak right now. Um, so both. It is propaganda and profit. Um, you let a man who has no medical backing back all of these medical things for fun. I feel like he has toys like G.I. Joe and when he used to play and I feel like he's just moving them around and he's sitting back and he's like I got time today. Like today so is what we do. Like, for example, if you have a teacher that don't teach you nothing, 
and you have other teachers that teach, are you going to value that teacher? No. For, and I say that to say, for example, if you really care about your country and the land, the free home, and the brave, and you care about your people, you will invest in your people. The United States is not invested in the community. Well, they don't think we're their people because their people are white and Saxon. If, you, if they so, invested in us, if the other people are here, they're not right. invested. But even, it's about money. Because even poor white kids get treated like black people. It's about money. They don't give us the best foods. On purpose. On purpose, because it's about money. You don't give us the best anything, it's about money. The best property treatment. You gotta pay for the doctor. You gotta pay for everything. It's about money. It's not about the greater good of the people, because places that don't make as much money as us can afford to give free health care, free education. Why can we do that? We have money to do it. We have money for wars. Cuba. Canada got free health care. They have a of dollars in those. We have money for everything else but what we're supposed to have money for. That's how you know it's going to invest in the people. It's not, it's not a country that that's geared to development, development and growth. This was a moment. Hot spots. We're supposed to run out of money on October 18th, 2021. October 18th. How can yeah. the first hegemonic country of the world, the country that leads, allegedly in everything, be saying out loud that we're yeah. going to run out of money. Well, I thought we would run out of money when we got a statistic. Last time I checked, we are over 137 millionaires, and we are over 137 millionaires. But, yeah. but my question is this. Okay. But, okay, cool. Let's, if, if this is how we're going to play the game, then how are we going to grow? Because we owe China, we owe here, we owe here, we owe here. If China was to get money out of you, how do you say China we're asking that they want nothing, right? Right. If, if, if China was to take their, the money we owe them out of the US economy, this shit will crash immediately. China and the Middle East. China owes like 70% of our economy. They own the world, but they own a lot of people. A lot of people. And a lot of Western countries who are in deficit. So like this, this country is about money. Point blank period. I would like to know the numbers. How much did they make off these vaccines? How much did the pharmaceuticals? If would that be public knowledge? No. How much money did they make off of this whole pandemic? Let's see those numbers. Like so long. And would it, why would it be public knowledge? It, why would it be public knowledge? Because it was a public knowledge to let us know when we have a child that our child was to be as a contract. But. It's right. It wasn't. So how is it that they're going to give us any public knowledge for anything that is going to be satisfying to their knowledge? Why would I give you anything to benefit you when I want to give you that? Yeah, even if they give us nothing, I'm going true. But that's the way to track this. That's the way to track this. I'm saying, but just like, they can pick statistics. This is like, you never know the whole, unless it's an independent party, which of course, they'll never give an independent party the green light to see all their dealings. It's like, for example, the fourth uh, the richest person in the world is, right? Hold the time. Every year, right? Y'all know there's never no silence in there, right? Rationality. They're not, they're not counting my money. They're not counting my money. I'm not letting y'all white devils count my money. Infidels, as the... <laughs> As they'll say, count my money. You don't need to know what's going on over here. Just know we good. Solid. Our challenge yeah. test Tesla is so, we make the islands in the water. So do you catch up? So do you know? We make the resorts in the ocean. Catch up. So I read something recently on Google. They made you buy. Um, you buy like what? About 20, 30 years ago? Nah. They were in Dubai. They were in Dubai 40 years ago. That was what Dubai when I was 10. So less than that. Money. Not, not the Dubai that we make know. A, make a great city. I could make a, a wonderland. Dubai. That's money. It's, hey, it's a level of money, man. It's not a level of money. But we all gonna have money in it. It's a level of money that's really the problem. When we think about it, those, those that have the amount of money that they have, it's the love for it. Thank you. Um. What else do you Um, Drake. 
All right, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Let's have some fun with it. We're going to ease it up this time and have some fun with it. Certified Lover Boy versus Donda, 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 Donda. Donda, Donda, Donda. What does that sing Um, Now, creatively, sonically, what's your take with that? I listened to all of it, but I was impressed with the Donda, 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 the little last heartbeats. I think they were 58 of them or something like that. Um, the genius behind that, the thought and tribute behind that was pretty dope. Um, I love that him and Jay came together because he put away whatever residual beef they had or angst and were able to come to the table and let talent speak. Um, I thought that was pretty hot. Certified lover boy. I always see Drake as like the kid from Degrassi. Yeah. So. You can't get past the. So like the certified yet. lover boy. I um. I think his swag is a little present, not a lot. Um. I like to be honest, right? And I'm, I'm um. Watch it before. I'm yeah. See that video. Really so you're rather down than certified lover boy. I've read another one. Like Quite honest, but of the two, I like the thoughts and detail that Kanye put in. I feel like Drake can do Drake stuff. Like he's a gimmick girl. So why he's looking for you? Literally, he's coming in. Drake, Drake is a gimmick girl? Yes. He's a gimmick maker. We need, we need gimmicks. I need gimmicks to drive to work in the morning. He, Drake is a gimmick girl? Yeah, he makes good gimmicks. I'd say. Tell right. me what's really like three strong quality drinks right now. Sorry? Or just. Yeah. Three strong. Go. Melody. Not a lot of, not a lot of rappers can give you melodies in their songs. Three strong songs. songs. Not one. Songs. Yes. Oh. You know, wow. I made a song called Melody. The freestyle Tell joint. What? Let it pepper everybody freestyle. Get it. Let it pepper freestyle. Everybody jumped on and did their own remix because it was so fire. Okay. His song with Jay-Z might be better than Kanye's. Okay. Um, might be. Might be. So again, I said give me three. That's how we'll finish. So and let's take away the word might. 7 a.m. for the bird pack. Oh, that one's different. You didn't he hear that. He told Kanye a new word that song. He did. He came for him, right? Oh, Why? Because you want to tweak my address out being a bird. He's petty. Don't be petty. Be a man. He's petty. So like, you know, kind of, you gave your opinion on down there, and for me, it's almost a, uh, you can't compare. That's what I'm saying. One dude is saying I'm a certain kind of other boy. One dude is talking about his deceased dog. I think, yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. You got yeah. Jesus yeah. written all through that, certain kind of other boy. I feel like Drake is trying to resurrect the 1990s, life span. Come away from. Honestly, Drake yeah. is singing from the door. Baby, you buy everything. You all have it. One of his best songs came out singing. Like. Gimmick. What's gimmick here? I would say, I think Drake, Drake probably the first superstar, which I was honest, that the regular non thug could relate to. <laughs> so, so that is gimmicky? There's so much more of those than thugs. You understand? He made a really for the non thug. Dude that sit in the house in the, you know what I'm saying, fighting from the suburbs. I can't relate to selling drugs. <laughs> but like, I, I can't that's... relate to selling drugs. I don't, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I go to school in the burbs, or I do my work, and I work my parents. Which is fine you know to do. It's fine, so I'm just like, I just he might have a big it. audience, and Kanye, Donald was a, he's a genius, musically, right? Donald was his therapy. But, he was with his mom. It like seems, you said, it's too separate. It showed that he's still relevant. No. Capable. He still didn't even talk to somebody. Because he did think that was, I would love to see the logic behind it. Because you make a song, right? For example, you make a song for a chair. Make it part one and part two and put two different artists, but you have the same verse. Why not just put all three of y'all in a song? 
he did the same thing with the locks and um what's the name? Jada Chana. The first part of the first song is you and Jada Chana. Then you bring back the locks, the one singing song with Jada Chana, and you're the same person. Why not just put the locks on the original song and just so you have part one and part two like it just seems like you're all over the place. There's no He is though. He's scattered. Right. right. So you know it just seems like I would want you to get your help first and give us a quality body of work rather than a work that I would seem like it's just a violated. Okay. But the question is, what was the thought process while like I get it though, like you can't What what's the thought process? Like you, you said, it was his therapy. Right. It was his therapy. I'm just gonna get all the emotion about my mama out. Or just begin. Right. Yeah, yeah. But are you gonna get my emotion out? Which is normal. On record, which is human. He has a whole hard right to do that. Okay. So you know, I don't say it's a whack guy because he, he comes from the heart. Now sonically, it ain't always the easiest to listen to. But I get it, that's how he went. He's been unique. But it I find it ironic how he went from the seven, the number seven, and he did like five albums with different people, seven songs, to his next album got twenty seven songs. He had time. He had time. He was healing, breaking out, he was cheating on camera, he was doing a bunch of stuff. Drake's not bad. Drake's not bad. Wow, we ain't gonna get that one, huh? <laughs> I like it because. I don't dislike it. He's not trying to be like, somebody he's not. Yeah, he's he calling it. He's doing what he's doing. Yes. So I feel like if he was not rich, he would be a life hit for Queen. So what makes him corny? That's what that's he's the question I want to know. The reality is, he is rich. Right. And but, he makes great shit. No, that's what I'm trying to ask. That's what I'm trying to know. What makes it for me? It's good gimmicky songs. Really? I think the numbers are good. But, the, but okay. they like gimmicky stuff. They do. But we've also heard him get at it. Like, don't play like your sleep. I didn't like, say he was incapable. Like, he saw it. I didn't say he was incapable. I never used his capable. I never said but he couldn't play this song. But more than that, gimmicky, don't get that probably added to them. You can't be a gimmick around and still have some skill. Alright, so people are gonna hate it. Difficult. People are gonna hate it, right? No disrespect because I don't know. But he does more he does more gimmicky than stuff. He's capable. People are gonna hate it. He's a good skin. You know, I'll have to get Most of you guys are gonna hate it. You know who's gimmicky as a rapper to me? A new rapper? No disrespect. I don't even care so much for the debate. He repeat the same thing over and over again. No argument. But crazy thing is, he makes those gimmicky songs, but he's not selling as Drake. If you think Drake is gimmicky, look at the baby. I think look at the, look at the what makes him. That's the difference. The baby he doesn't change. Right? Because the grassy, he's not about the grassy. He's not a lesbian. Not a good. Come on. <laughs> he's ill. He's not a lesbian because I, I like women. I'm not taking away his illness. He's ill, right? But he's gimmicky. Come on. I'm going to say he's. I, I would say Dick that's his wig, and that's a major skill in hip hop. Being witty. I'm okay. I will change my words, and I will say that. Being witty, and in hip hop, if you can be witty, you can get you to the top. But I, I can do that. I can witty. do that. May, may I tell you? May I tell you another rapper that was giving me back in the days, but a lot of people don't listen to. A lot of R&B artists, never know. Give it to me, give it. But if you really listen to his album, or you can be pure heat. But that's Some the difference, right? Some people do that to get in the door. Yeah. That's what M did. But the difference is, that's true M. Like, he has this personality oh, and stuff like that, you know? Drake did the same thing. But the only reason why is because he's what? Light skin? I wouldn't even say Drake. Well, I, I know what I'm trying to understand. He did the same thing. He came as true himself. What was the gimmick with me? No, no. She said gimmick. So I'm trying to give her, like, the, the premise of that sense. Like, no, that's she what she said. Said with you. Okay, so quick. So then Eminem is with you. Or, Gimmicky too at the same time. I would time. say he's more gimmicky with the whole characters. Yeah, but isn't he with with his wordplay? Yeah, he a beast with the wordplay. My point is that. Drake is more sarcasm. That's it. Cute. That right, that was cute. You know what I mean? That was yeah, cool. that's what I'm saying. Like, you need that hip hop. That's part of like metaphors are big in hip hop. Okay, I'm not even getting it. Like, yeah, but Come on. also. I would think musically he made some decent songs. Okay. He, he didn't listen to it. They they pop up. You pop to them. You do a little show this shit. I'm not taking away from any of that. Simply saying. Now what do you think of? Simply saying. Uh, 
like they are few. It feels like Kanye is jealous. Yeah. 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 Because theoretically, if the numbers if, if, if the numbers are right what they say, you work for the JV, why you work for the Because the conversation's not about him. He likes the conversation. Yeah, he he ain't about the conversation, it's about his nah. financial freedom. Nope. It's the conversation we're talking about. Is, but it's the financial freedom for me. You do anything to satisfy That's like, for example, I guess that's why the J, you don't really hear much from complaining. It's about the financial freedom. It ain't about the. He got time today. He got time to sit and look nuts and do whatever because he's got it, right? But if I need. He does, but he also wants to be the discussed. Right. So um, what, what do you guys prefer, old school Kanye or the the eight oh eight heartbreak after Kanye? I just Kanye. Want a healthy Kanye. Okay. A mentally healthy Kanye. What does what, what does that look like? Who knows? What, what is a, melty, uh, a, a, a a mental healthy Kanye? I probably honestly analyzing everything we see in his whole career. I would say he probably would have his best before his mother died. Nope. Before his mother died. Jesus wants. Jesus wants. Nah, his mom didn't die until recent though, right? No, she died a few before. years ago. Yeah, we right? She, she nah. died before Anne Frozen came in the picture. No, did she? Yeah, she's not around that. Might be, but like, you know, that's what I would say. Was he drunk on MTV? Was she wasn't around for that. She no. wasn't around when this oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, she, she wasn't around. around. Yeah, she had just died. She had just died, yeah. She wasn't around for associating with the gangsters in a that bad lifestyle. She was around for the Drake Kanye. The polo backpack. The Drake Kanye. Yeah. College oh. She was around oh. for the Drake Kanye. Yeah. If you really listen to college rap about us. Now, I've lost a parent. I have lost my mom in five months. I can't imagine what he, what he feels, especially growing up in a single mother home. Right. right. You know what I'm saying? Like, so I'm sure the emotional toll, the psychological toll it's different. is different. I can't relate to what he's going through. And I think he really argued with a cause of that, right? Because it's a case of vanity. It's all totally avoidable. So I think that attributes like the mask and hiding his face and all those things have to do with his grieving process. Um, I think that, like um, you know, my question, going through where you know what I'm saying, the village, we are the people supposed to document the mother. Right. But how can we document the mother? But you gotta be able to receive that. I was gonna say yeah, yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. How can we document yeah. somebody's yeah. like yeah. that? You know, yeah. Yeah. Yes, we are. Yeah. 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 Not open up to come to their parent. Don't feel comfortable coming to the parent. In that situation, who, who's fault of that? I'd say the parent for making a space to where your child got comfortable to tell you something. Right, the environment's not safe. It's not a, so, but that's, now, Kanye not being able to do that could be a society. A black community, anything. Right, a black community. Because we don't discuss. Right, mental health and emotional. Because we're forced to be. Tough, take everything, keep moving, don't empathy, you know what I'm saying? So, so Charlemagne, that segues us into sharing Charlemagne, the God's new campaign, um, and just talking about the vocal about mental health, um, which I think is dope. Um, it's, 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 it's necessary. I can't say it enough how dope it is. It's but necessary. It's so super necessary. Um, and it's being interwoven into TV now. So I watch Friends right TV, Judge Your Mother. Love and hip hop, um, Scrappy had a cry out for some assistance. He even made like a very, he made a very weird message, like some cryptic message. They had like a brotherhood meeting, and all of the men present said that they felt um, finally like a, a safe in a space where they can put their shoulders down as men. Because often times men don't feel like they can do that. There's no everything for the black man to Period. But who fault is that? Society. We, and honestly, so who created society? 
it's it's a journey of experiences. You know what I'm saying? It's like we there was this trauma, we never had the space to be able to connect with. We don't have time for that. We gotta keep it moving. You know what I'm saying? So like the fact that like for them the the notion of telling the little boy don't cry, man, it's like it's tough. That foundation right there creates a lack of empathy for a man, period. There's an engagement from the emotion. There's an engagement from the emotion. There's no safe place to vocalize, express emotion. As a man, you're taught to suppress it or forget about it. That's not healthy, that's not realistic. Right. It wouldn't, anything going anywhere. Just you wouldn't have a feeling if it wasn't supposed to be expressed. You know what I'm saying? But that's the societal vibe for black men, black boys. So I have a 10 year old son. I let him cry whenever he wants to. Oh, that's beautiful. He been getting attention all week in school. He's crying because he feels like it's not fair. I'm telling him, man up, no, get it out. You have the right to feel that emotion, get it out. But There's nothing wrong with it. We have to start selling that to our boys and our men that it's a right to show emotion. It's Question. a right to not be in a strong place, we feel vulnerable, it's okay. Now, a question, because I'm also a father, but the difference is I have a daughter. Are you allowing your son to see you cry? I haven't been, like, again, honestly, there's not too many situations that cause me to cry because I'm so geared and, and our foundation is such of a man up, toughen up. So I've got to a place to where, for my sanity, I try not to let things bother me to where it, it, it gets to that emotion. So now, question. Don't, don't invest in it, it doesn't really affect me. Okay, make sure. If I invest in something, it, of course I'll cry. So, what is the drastic point do you believe as a man, in your perspective, because every man is different, you know, whatever could take you off may not take me off. And whatever could throw me off the bridge will, you know, may not even bother you. But when do we come to the point of understanding it's okay to, to cry. When is that? That's that's just a level of manhood that every man has to reach on his that's own. That's subjective, right? Yeah, like you have to be able to know if you can actually see a man go through something and feel empathy for him. That should be he he should be able to cry all he want and you not judge him in anything. You know what I'm saying? So that's subjective to each man and where maturity is. At. For example, I've caught myself watching TV and take out my eyes. Just because of the situation. So that's how I knew, like, oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, no, son. You watching a happy moment, a special <laughs> touching moment. You watering niggas like your hands in You felt bad? No, I was proud of myself. I'm okay. I wholeheartedly proud of myself. Rolled up. Was that the celebration? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, think, I think for me. <laughs> it was. I think for me, it's just. I, like, I, 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 I honestly felt broke in that moment. Like, yo, Christ, teach me shit. I think for me personally, like, even if you don't cry tears wise, it's okay to cry verbally. Go speak to somebody. Because by speaking verbally, you're gonna get the tear out. You gotta just get that emotion out. And verbalizing it, people understand. Versus physically. Versus physically. Because you have people that do, they do get that emotion out, but in a different manner. Yeah, they box, they go to the gym, they work out. They but you got others in the, out of the spectrum. For sure. But I'm saying, like, people don't even realize just how verbalizing your issues is therapeutic. Sure. You know what I'm saying? Just verbalizing it, just being able to fit to somebody and a lot of, half of the time people don't realize when they when somebody venting you, they don't want you to try to solve the problem. They just want you to listen. They want you to listen. Listen here. Listen here. Um, and an ear we had for, we to completely change the trajectory of our conversation. So Amber Rose, if you're familiar with her. Amber Rose. She's I a, had a big fan of Amber Rose. She's a media personality. Yeah. Um, she's had a kid, last name we got, it was last year. Second or third um, kid? Uh, second. Yeah. Realized and learned that he likes women, multiple uh, women at the same time, um, like somewhat addicted to sex, and she just openly returned back to being a hoe. But, but she said being a hoe, 
what does she mean? Like the whole walk she do before, like empowering women, or she just like out here doing her? I would imagine the latter. Doing her. I think people are trying to think of the terminology. Oh, can you do that? Can you think of the terminology? She tried to. She tried to. Be no, but can you? Can you think of the terminology? Sure. Maybe we change it. We did. We did. We did. Yeah. And then a lot of women, a lot of women with disrespect change the word bitch. Yeah. That's my bitch. That's yeah. my bitch. So it's. <laughs> <laughs> you see the ah, oh, bitch. Yes, bitch. It's a whole could be remixed. But the question is, that's, you know. But for example, like Ever Rose. Um. Expectations are real. And she just let me know that it's not good to have expectations. How do you sit here this whole time and we didn't talk about it? Are you not? Oh, Kelly. Oh, we didn't get there. We got time. Okay, because I was like, wait a minute. So expectations have a role. Like, uh -huh. I was like, oh, oh, we got all. No, I just. She was ill to me when she first came out with Kanye, right? I like them. I like them, you know what I'm saying? Then she was a white girl that wore a bald head. So with you see it. Right. But then she went to Wiz. I'm like, all right, Wiz was cool. He, he knew, he got a different energy. He's not the average hip hop dude. Mm -hmm. Pittsburgh, little man, we cool. Then I, respectfully, <laughs> when she got with 21 Savage. That's what she did? Oh, yeah. She oh, no, 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 no. Savage. Don't forget about the other dude. I don't know. When she got with 21 Savage, this is when he first came out, and we didn't really understand that he's not as ignorant as he seems. He has a little more expected mind than he seems. Mm -hmm. So when he first came out, and 21, 21, 21, and this is her man, he like, personally, I was like, oh, shit. I didn't even know she did. She's just a money chaser. She got with you, the 21 Savage. And then after that, it seemed like she went, Words went to the blonde head dude. I'm like, well, she just trying to stay afloat. Oh, it's the blonde guy. Who's he? Exactly. So this, like that. this is the question I dude, asked like, earlier. And she asked me to do it. really kind of This is the question I asked earlier. When did she stop being a hoe? When she was in a committed relationship. Man, stop playing with your damn self. She, she wasn't. She was in a relationship. When she was with Wiz, I don't think she was going to She left Wiz. Because she's going to cheat with twins. So now, this is the question I want to ask, right? This is the question. A problem, course, like, they had, they lived in a, a, a building where they, he had a problem, she had a problem. He would be in her all the time. She had the key to his. She go with his career, we in the bed with twins. So my question is this. After they get, so my question is this. <laughs> and, this and this is for all women that say this. Uh, every relationship I've been in, I've been cheating on. Now stop looking at the men. Now look in the mirror. What is wrong with you for every man that ever been in your life can, now, can never stay faithful to you? Is it you don't have enough confidence as a woman to build that kind of faith within your relationship with your man? Or is it when you get in a relationship, before you get in a relationship, or when you get comfortable in a relationship, the sex lag? Because whatever you're not doing from the beginning, that's the reason why he's cheating. No. So, First of all, I couldn't even agree that. I'm like, do I throw the table Why would that's what I'm asking? Yes. A man's choice to be unfaithful in a relationship Not has something to it. do with the deficit of a woman. Is that what you're saying? No, 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 no. Not, not, no, no. You said her last building, home. building that, building that faith, like. It's you said something she's not doing no more. Why yeah, that's what I'm saying. The second option. I'm not saying the first part. This is the first part she's talking about about the whole um. Faith, um, the faith and trust between the relationship, right? I know you said that. Which part exactly are you talking about? You said, part. You said the, the lack of. Lacking. Yeah. A woman's lack does not justify your ability. I never said it. You did. I, I'm not. I'm not. Because she's not doing something she did I, in the beginning. Did, oh, hold on. Did I ever come? Did I ever say I come? Like I agreed to it. I'm saying that no. might be a reason. I'm not saying that you agree, my darling. You just articulated that that's the reason. That could be a reason. Can you it not be? You said that's the reason you why said that is the reason why men cheat. Because 
you didn't say it could. Woman All right, let me rephrase that. Let me rephrase that. Let me rephrase that. That can also be a reason. The, whatever you weren't doing in the beginning, you but lack it now. Now, now. You can't see that out. It could be a multitude of reasons why I met you. Okay. It could, it could be A. It could be uh -huh. and. Just because. Right, and I'm just saying, because. True story. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna be a mm -hmm. whole honest black man in America in 2021. Please do. Have we not been? Realistically, have we not been? Most niggas cheat just because they can. Right, just because. The opportunity is there. Let's just do that part. Right. Oh. That's the real reason why niggas cheat. I'm like, what? Not because your girl not doing something. Your girl could be pinky in the bed. And y'all never care. It don't matter. Now, you're not man. Never I'm going to say this. Maybe I'm wrong. Okay. Sometimes, you just need to feel something else. Realistic. Sometimes, you just... I don't agree with it, but I think it's honest. That's the honest. You just need to feel something else. It's not like you don't love your girl any less. You can love... It may make you love your girl even more. Now, the question is, what about she choose to do the same thing? Is that it sounds same? crazy, but that's the... Um, um, Am I bugging to? No, I'm not disagreeing with you now. It can't make you love your girl more. It can't make you appreciate your girl more. So remember, because you know people are watching this, right? Yeah, we be honest. So what, 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 about, what, about, what, what about the women choose to do the same thing? Y'all can't handle that. That's Why? the reality that men got to try to deal with. If you gonna do that to your wife, understand. In 2021, yeah, not 1980, not 1960. Yeah. In 2021, yeah. Be prepared to get it done to you. So then, do polygamy then? Do something that do something that monetize the relationship where you're not losing anything. Do something that works. Or yeah, open, have an open relationship. Have honestly, that conversation. Is it Isn't honestly, there a dialogue that needs to be had? I'll say the honestly. In your own individual relationship. Some women don't want right? multiple dicks. Some women want one dick. Yeah, I don't want. I'm comfortable. Dick. I want to be a whole and build my numbers. No, I want one penis. That's mine. I don't want polygamy. Which is Most men naturally can juggle. No, they can't. They just, no, they cannot. No, they cannot. You guys can do a lot of multitasking. No, Generally no, speaking, no. multitasking is not the strongest suit. Wow. It's not. Generally you speaking. No, 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 you right? be surprised. You be surprised. Generally <laughs> speaking, they, you get caught because the fumble happened. No. Right? And the fumble happened no, because you're multitasking. No, I'm saying it as far as emotionally. You can multitask emotionally and it won't be an issue. As far as most, a lot of women don't want to deal with fuck it, this nigga, fuck it, this nigga, fuck it, this nigga. Nah. Men don't, don't really matter because there's no emotional tie to a woman. So we can juggle emotionally different women and not be no attached to any of them. Because I got my main one here. That's why I say we make a juggle. Emotionally, it ain't that serious. It's a sport. I'm, I'll be honest. What? Then like we can do it as sport. I don't think women wholeheartedly can. Now today's women, they get in the game. The the, the WNBA is coming up. But the question is, are they built to but last? Be you see, so that that's the question. Side. Are they built to last? Can I ask a question? Huh? Do you mind if I were to ask you a question, man? Right. Yeah. There's seasons. Yeah. If I'm being honest, if you're being honest, there's seasons, yeah. right? So there's seasons. So there's, there's seasons where it's a right if you fuck three days a week. Three different days. If that's the season that you're in. Yeah. I'm sorry. If that's the season that you're in. See? That's the reality that men are ready for. See, see. That's the reality. Listen. So listen. If you're going to play that game, you got to be ready for the boomerang. Listen, this is why I asked. Um, I want to ask you a question before I state this. This I've heard this in a conversation. Women said it. A lot of them are young, and I've asked older women, and some of them will agree. They said that they heart live in their vagina. Is it true? They heart live in their vagina. vagina. There are emotions connected to your vagina, absolutely. We insert, we're receiving, yeah. you guys exert. Yeah. 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 But if you turn that off. But how, so that's, that's now this is not this. Now this is the question. That's the ability. That's a role that they can turn it on. Now, now this is the question. How long can you guys maintain it? 
It's subjective. It happens. So it depends on how long I'm in the season. Everybody's different. Some women are colder it than others. It depends on how, people. how weird you are in your womanhood right. journey. Because I, I don't understand women that want to have sex buddies, friends with benefit, and then two, two, a year and a half later, you know he's not proceeding to I'm a relationship, but you're falling in a relationship people, mentally with this guy. Why? They need to, to get what they want. People will agree to a friend with benefits, a friend with benefits situation, knowing in the back of their head they want more. Lying, right. But mm -hmm. they'll they'll take what they can get from that and try to work towards the angle. Mm -hmm. People do that all the time. Mm -hmm. They'll say that, oh no, we just did. Yeah. But no one even outside, I'm gonna put it on is that he ain't gonna never tell me that. Nah, I depend. It depends. It depends. If it's Some a crush. that want to play with girls' emotions. Yeah. If you real with it, you don't want to feel her emotion. Nah. You don't want to have her crying over you. No. Nah. You lied to me. No one didn't want to hear that shit. That's annoying. You signed an agreement like I did. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah. You swear to Yo. Once oh. you change the rules, it makes it uncomfortable. That's what I like. We don't like, we don't like you change the rules. Like, come on. Why are you doing that? You can't change the game. Because now, you mean, you're going to be the bad guy when it shouldn't be that way. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But. No. It, happens. it happens. You get addicted to that. You get addicted. You get addicted. You get addicted. You get addicted. So yeah. what? What about a, a, a dude getting pussy with? It happens. So I've been there. I, <laughs> man, I don't think we should. You know, about you being honest. This is your season. Okay. That's your season. Your season is to be honest. <laughs> you get that when you can't get it when you want it. She yeah. got the power. You like? Oh, how <laughs> did you get the power? How this happened? How this happened? Then you gotta tighten up, son. Nah, you gotta tighten up. Son. You can't do that. You gotta get your, you gotta get your power back. <laughs> <laughs> the reality. Um, what else? Yeah. Oh, R. Kelly. Now let's that, discuss R. Kelly. That's not let's, Kelly. I'm, it's now. I'm it's probably a, going to jail. Oh, he's going to jail, jail. I'm probably going to jail. Actually, I mean, he's been locked up for a while. Because still... of working the feds where he at now, and he chops up with me, Kelch. And they call him in jail. How was his spirit? He said he was always cool, but now he ain't been there since he be on the trial because he's out, you know what I'm saying, on maternity. But Kel's trial style, so I'm sure Kel's is stressed because from that, from what I got from him, Kel had a delusion in his mind that he was beating us. Of course. So the, I'm sure the reality has set in. Because Phil Cosby beat it. Can we still play his songs at the bar? Yes. Yeah. Did this song rip? Wow. Can you separate off from the person? Mmm. Because now every time I hear a song, I'm listening. With R. Kelly, let me watch R. Kelly. I've been seeing that documentary, and the woman said he was making songs about the shit he was doing to them. Yeah. That makes it different. You were not alone in the summer meeting. Summer meeting again. The Michael Jackson song. He wrote that when the chick had the miscarriage in the house. Mm -hmm. That would never stop the scene again. Right. Aaliyah, eighty eight nothing but a number would never stop the scene again. She was too old and I'll tell you the thing that I was with Jesus. He married her at 15 and had a lie and said she was 18. Like these like these situations are real. Our cousin's going to jail though. Like that type of cultural, a cultural gut punch. I punch, yeah. Like, no, it's like, a cultural gut punch. For example, can you I would not please step the name of up. You can't. The shit transcends all generations. You can't, though. Because stepping in the name, was he stepping in the 12-year-old's face? Like, now what are you talking about in terms of the lyrics? Who you stepping in? In her room? Stepping in her shit? Did you make shit? Did you, Did you like go that? to the girl's practice? So can you play ignition? So they said he'd go to the, the junior high school. Basketball team practice. Yeah. So can you play ignition in, 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 in the barbecue? I don't think you can play that. I think you gotta have the brain of R. Kelly. You can't even play sex in the kitchen, huh? Like, how do you play that? You got songs called Feeling on Your Booty. Have on my. Yep. Yeah, All I need is. And it's unfortunate that they're never musical genius. With no education can make songs like Feeling on Your Booty become hits. Okay. The most ignorant songs ever. Hits. Also, touching songs. I believe I can fly. 
to go to the fire these kids' schools. You know, in reality. He said he was the world's yeah, greatest. Yeah. And, but then, again, it's so sudden with, like, his comparison, like the Pied Piper. If you know what the Pied Piper is, like, he loves little kids. He was letting us know, yeah. Like, like, yeah, he was letting us know. But isn't, isn't that what... He got nothing on this. When you get a chick, when you get a young girl, after you get acquitted from your trial for messing with little girl, you grab a new little girl, you got a problem. It's probably really something to see, right? And then, you know, he had, he had kept the demon left by his little sister. Which may be true. Hurt people, hurt people. Really you know true. That wholeheartedly. Really true. But it's just sad that you, you were able to get to a level of attainment, like success, where you can always have any woman you want. But you choose little girls. You choose little girls. Okay. That's a definite power. mental issue. He could have power over grown women. But he had the money. He had the money and he had the song. But the mental. The mental power. He had a grown woman. Now, like, he, had, he had the power to manipulate grown women. He just didn't apply it. But he, he had a wife. He did. He was married. He manipulated her, though, man. And lastly, baby. But doesn't he have daughters? Yeah, you got a couple daughters that don't that don't that don't keep their girl. So the last topic of the night, we're gonna address a serious situation that's touching and dear to a lot of people Talk in New York City. Yeah. Um it just, you know, again, we as a people have to unite. We have to have it. If not, if we never have empathy for other people, at least have empathy for ourselves. And in this day and age, today, this time, we need to have empathy for all people of color. And what's going on, what was going on, first of all, what happened? Realize, what happened? Because they got the people out there. They got the 15,000 people out of there in days. Hi. So there was a law that was signed by Trump um, that voided asylum, which allowed people to escape okay. their country without um, penalty. Um, and Trump signed it, and it didn't apply. That's why they were able to go after them in that capacity and adjust the fire capacity. And it only got like um, sensationalized when the pictures went out of uh, the lasso going after a human. In 2021, like you're beating someone who's escaping the country. Trying to get their necessities and feet, like. Right. So they gave them $100, they gave them a COVID shot, and they gave them rice, chicken, and plants, and so they don't go back home. But when the Afghans came, they rolled out red carpet. When 800,000 Canadians came, there was no issue. Why do people treat um, the First Nation and the West Indies to get to gain their independence the way that they Haiti was like ill from the beginning. The beginning, but we have a beautifully, luckily, organically, we have somewhat of a patient descent here to speak on. Our brother. Oh, oh, God. Uh, man, it's actually a question, right? Why do they do it? We were the first country to become free. Yes, we went to help DR, we went to help Jamaica, and we also went to help, uh, not Venezuela, um, one of the South American countries. We helped them. But when it came down. What capacity, like, you get freedom? Yeah, freedom. Okay. But when it came down for us to get some type of ally, when France came back and asked us for money, nobody wanted to stand up. So as us as black people, as Asian, I don't, I don't want to speak about all black people. It's our fault because we became so foolish thinking that if we do not have someone in power that have knowledge, we're going to go back to slavery. 
but how did we free ourselves from something and try to go back to it? So it's, it's all on us. And so you basically say in fact that they agreed to the payment of France? Mm -hmm. not for? Yeah, because now France, knowing that whatever situation that they have with the whole World War II situation, America was a contract with them. So now, guess who guess made these payments? America. It's a business. So, so it's like, it seems like France took that model. There's 13 countries in Africa that's still paying for instance. Yeah. Yes. 13 countries over $500 billion a year. Haiti had to pay. Imperialism. Wait. Haiti, Wait. Had to pay, Haiti had to pay up until early 20 something. Came from the year. Over Haiti, matter of fact, I didn't hear Haiti suing France trying to get money. $800 billion worth of total amount from paying they from France, France and, they money back. and they brought this case up, I, I did read that all. So it's, it's us man, we, we as black people that have to say we are genuinely nice people in a sense. We really don't want no harm really sometimes, but we as nation, we allow ourselves to let people take control because, and also, our politics is growing. Our politicians grow. It's all divided time, son. It's all good divided time. So, they go from slavery. But your politics being corrupt has nothing to do with it. It's divided time. Because it has nothing to do with you enjoying an earthquake, right? That just devastates nah. the nation. So, that has nothing to do with the, politics. That's, that's it's the like, nature. Haiti is in the, first of all, Haiti sits on an earthquake fall and it's in the line of all, all most of the Caribbean. Countries are in the line of both Europeans from close to Africa. we as Haitians are dead in the center of it. Haiti, Jamaica, they beat up. But it is basically a reason it doesn't get touched. We are always we are always going to avoid Haiti. It's still the same block. I think it's so crazy. Wow. Yeah. But crazy history lessons for people that don't know. But they do have more infrastructure. Yeah. Because they have the bare side of the island, right? They have, it's just like if Hawaii was divided into like two different, let's say a few islands that were close to Hawaii. Whoever got the bigger side, obviously gonna feel like they better. But um, the whole island was called Hispaniola. That's what yeah, the Spaniard was, called it. But it wasn't. And France came into the peace. But it was a native, the native culture for it is a, uh, Western native, which people call Indian, native Indian, but native what do black, call it? Native black people, native, because that's what they are. They're right. Native black, they're black, they brown, they have bull hair, just like all of us, and everybody, like big nose. Boy, so they, sorry. so I can't tell you you're Indian because, man, you look like me, bro. But it's just unfortunate that, like, thousands of patients still have to see it. Trekking thousands of miles, like to, to, see, to, like, to see men with their daughters on their necks across their chest high, literally, just for opportunity. Life it's shouldn't just, be. This is not life. That's life shouldn't be that way for anybody in the world. No to where you gotta travel through chest high water with your child just for an opportunity, not for something guaranteed, just for an opportunity. Hey, hey, you gotta, you gotta say life shouldn't be that hard. I'm well, sorry to not trying to break the move down, but do you understand as black people in this country that were migrated from Africa, that's what we have to do when we escape slavery without no freedom. Right. That's black you know what I mean? So it wasn't seen back then because it wasn't no tele telephone and stuff. It's be but let's believe it's being done daily around the world. Right. What I'm saying is but we get the worst. With the technology and the advancement that some black people have, mm -hmm. it shouldn't be that way. No better to do better. But the question is this. And as a people, there's no unity. So we had unity, we'll do better. There's no unity. Alright, I'm gonna give you I'm gonna give you another history lesson with Haiti. A lot of people like to talk about Papa Doc. I don't know how the hell Americans know about Papa Doc so hard, but I realize I'm in my history lesson. The narrative they paint. They they were paying my man like they were man. Make sure you keep this on the ground. But Papa Doc was a light skinned Haitian man, his mom was French, and his dad was, you know, and he's light skinned and he got into power, all that great stuff. But then we, 
me growing up in Haiti, I hated being light right skinned. Because you know what they used to call me? Child, children that look like Richard's skin complexion? Oh, white cockroach. Oh. Nah, bro, we, we black. And my, in my head, I'm black. You know, I don't look at no skin complexion. White cockroach, ah, you just need to be stupid. <laughs> oh, call me Sun Brain. Call me Light Ball. All of that. Call me Mulatto. I hated it. I used to stay outside and hate trying to get darker because I just hated it. So I didn't realize what was being done. Come to find out, my mom, due to education and something like that she educated me on, she let me know that was the model for it in Haiti as well. The body because Papa Doc was light skinned, so a lot of light skinned people was about to win him. So the darker skinned complexion people to was. To this day, light skinned people were supposed to be treated better. Yeah. So for me personally, if I were to go to Haiti with Richard, just to show Haiti, I want to be treated the same way Richard is being treated. I don't want to be treated fairly better than Richard. Because I don't care for that. You know what I mean? But not everybody think like that. You know, you, and I hate, I could say this loud, because I'm Haitian. I hate light skinned Haitians or pretty eyes. Nice and cool to hear that they be better than us. Because you're head. not my nigga. See, but that's long term mental damage. Because that's always putting the white above the dark. Mm -hmm. So in your mind, all you see is white elevated, white doing well, and black being poor and dirty. You know, I'm not going to be able to associate with that. I'm going to try to get that. To me, like, my, God, like God, my godfather, my mom, my grandmother, my, gra my grandfather, <laughs> God, this is so passed away a couple years ago, Dr. Richard. I love that guy to death. When I said, darker than you, bro, brother, look at your skin. You know, you know, it's darker than my grandpa. Silly guy. Silly. Right? But all his children came out mixed. Only two of his children came out dark skin. My grandparents had like nine, ten kids. And his grandkids came out mixed. And then some of his so grandkids. Are their mothers mixed? Yeah. My grandmother's light skin. The Haitian light skin. Thoroughbred, red born light skin. She got some, some DR. We likes to. We're gonna stick to that. We're gonna stick to that. My grandfather is my guy. Is nice, dark brown, everything. But all his kids, from my aunt, my mom to my uncle, it's like twenty kids come out dark. Well, I'm gonna be a lot of issue. Grandpa wanted to step out. I don't think we're gonna do that on this episode. Grandpa didn't say it. I have a right. I'm like that's genetics. That's genetics, though. Nah. I just been white hat. Yeah. My great great grandfather was king of Shanghai. He got exiled by the British to stay shut out for 27 years. When he came back, they were both And they produced. No, so he had white kids being with him. And they produced. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we have a whole faction that's white. So they That's genetic. It's in your line. But I'm just saying, like, in a sense, it's like to grow up as a young man, as a young kid, to feel that way in a country where you saw 90% of people were not your complexion, but granted, where I was living, which was a city, wasn't the wealthy side. Now, when you I was in the wealthy side, like, oh, You had the light skin features without the benefits, son. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> But when I went there, but like, I still didn't look at them like they better than me. I just said, oh, okay. Nice. Because to me, that gold that never valued me. Me hanging out with you as a friend, me hanging you, that makes better sense to me. Because all of this, when, when Richard died, I can't bury Richard with this because he, he can't go with this. It's just, it's just material. But the one thing I want to bury you when Richard goes is the memories. Is the support is how he helped me when I was going through my trial and tribulation as a father, or, or as a, as a young man, or as a business person, or as a brother, as a business partner. That's the thing that matters. If Richard bought me a rich milk, that don't mean nothing to me, bro. That's nothing to do for me. The thought of you buying me that is what matters. And watch. But you know, it's unfortunate that that's how it is. Like, all right, I didn't see how they got out of this bad. They cleaned it up. The obvious was stopped. Yeah, they were not trying to let no more horsebackers go out there with no whips. They got suspended. Why would they? Yeah. Not five years suspended. They got suspended? The backlash was so crazy. In 2021, you got horse and whips on people trying to run for their lives, keep whipping them. Only what is this? But you say, you say it's not, it's not you mean that they carrying their children across high. Just water. That's desperation. That's not like you whipping me in my desperation point, in my desperate moments, at my lowest. 
you whooping me? That's not the so man. Yeah, I did. You said that they sent them back to Haiti? Yeah. Some. Huh? Majority, all of it. Majority. Huh? And funny, a lot of them didn't come from Haiti. A lot of them left during the earthquake last year. Thanks, so they were ready. They were in Mexico all over. They just trekked their way up. Do you think they would have been a better factor if they stayed in Mexico? No, but you gotta try. You gotta try. I know bad family members. I don't care if Africa. He ate his passport in the plane. Came here and said they tried to kill me. Like I understand. He was hit. Two hours later, he was in the crib. Like I stayed here in the crib, but she won the briefcase, no luggage. Oh, you real? Wait. Tell him. I basically ate his passport in the plane. How did you chew that shit? He ate crib with a briefcase. How did you chew that shit? Before we start that, we can have one on the scene. That's hilarious. Come a lot. We covered a lot today. Come a lot. It was um, good, you know what I'm saying? Um, it was good to see you. It was good to have a conversation. It was good to be back. Um, Shout out to the HBCU, support black colleges, homecoming season. Are they going to have homecoming? What? We are out there. Down to these nuts. <laughs> oh my. Big Delta. You going to be here? Yeah, you're going to support the Alma BSU, Trojan Way, you know what I'm saying? Respectfully, clean, social distance, you know what I'm saying? Be out there though. No Respectfully. Way. You, you got to celebrate solid black institutions. But I'm Virginia State, I will be the man I am today. Best decision I made in my life. Leaving New York City, going down to that quiet, quaint country town called Petersburg, Virginia. Yeah? Good vibes. Good vibes. Man, great people. Pure! My dude! Come on. Gene's thing is the decision I made. It's homecoming season. Everybody enjoy your homecomings. Be safe. Be safe. Mask up. You know what I'm saying? Protect yourself. Watch out for the, the man hunting us down on these homecomings. Look for drunk drivers and all that. You know what I'm saying? Enjoy yourself respectfully. You know what I'm saying? Covered a lot today. Okay. Shout out to everybody tuning into Synthesis. Shout out to the comments. Shout out to people asking where we were. Um, and this summer got a little hectic. Yeah, you just know, try like, to relax. Back to school, we go for education. Oh man, we all education. Got back to school, we gotta navigate the whole system we in. Just, yeah, the alleged system. The alleged system we But that's right. a whole nother episode. Financial freedom, all we hope. We need it. Can't listen, signing out. Yo. Pure. Happy birthday, Zordy. Happy birthday, eBay. Ad made it back safe. Yeah. Yeah.